And number two, now we're actually going to uh, calculate the sum and difference. Well, how do I do that? <coughs> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I factor. Now, you'll notice that all of these are factored, but I'm going to do something a little bit different for number two. I'm actually going to break them down into their prime factors. Prime factors. Well, that's what I'm going to do. X plus two. Klaus, what are the numbers that I multiplied to be four? <laughs> 2 and 2 and 4 and 1, right? And what are the factors of 10? 5 and 2. Class, what do they each have in common? They have a 2 in common. So I'm just finding my LCD. We did that in the last problem. Class, what does the left side have? that the right side does not have. In the denominator, this one has an additional 2. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Let's put that there in orange. So I'm going to have to multiply this one by 2 over 2. Class, what does the, the right side and its denominator have that this side does not have? Class, what's 5 times 2 times 2? 20. So our LCD is 20. <clears throat> I'm trying to show you guys a different way of finding the LCD. So essentially, I'm going to have 5 times the quantity <coughs> x plus 2 all over 20. And over here, I'm going to have subtraction <coughs> of 2 times z. My z is I like to differentiate by putting the line through it, all over 20. <coughs> Carnegie didn't do a good job of giving us lots of space. So I'm just going to move up here. Class, what do I have to do with that 5? We're going to what? We're going to distribute. Class 5 times x. And 5 times 2 is 10. Now, because the denominators are 20, they have a common denominator, <coughs> I can put it together now. Here's the tricky part. <coughs> Any subtractions here... <clears throat> you're going to have to distribute this negative sign. <clears throat> this negative sign is like a negative 1. So now let's distribute this negative 1. Class, what's negative times a positive expression? So this will become negative 2z. Class, are there any like terms in the numerator? So let's review what we've done. We factored it. I factored the denominator to help me find the LCD. We found the LCD, and we wrote each expression with the LCD. That's the matching colors. If this side has a pink, this side has a pink. This side has orange, orange, yellow, yellow. <coughs> we just added or subtracted the numerators by first distributing, and then distributing here. That's really subtraction, and then we're just combining like terms. That's the simplify as needed. But there are no like terms in the numerator, uh, so this is my answer. You also notice that uh, odd or even? So if they were all evens, then you can take out a greatest common factor. But in this problem, because you have an odd, even, and even, we can't, so this is going to be my answer. Let me go ahead and highlight this. You've just subtracted rational expressions. Thank you.